New Mexico has been at such deficit for so long that we're now facing a critical juncture. And I think what we're failing to recognize is that every individual is going to have to contribute to an information-driven economy in order for us to achieve the gains that we want. CYFD has done, uh, this is one of those areas that it has persistently worked on through two administrations and uh, three cabinet secretaries. Uh, but what I would hope is that, uh, that this expands into the treatment community and that there is a sea change of the way we look at mental disorders and behavioral disorders in children. I think our leaders do understand it, but I, I think that they are fearful. I think they're fearful because of financial pictures. I think they're fearful uh, in terms of some of the political backlash that they might encounter if they move to what I would view as a more generative uh, position. It's like translating neuroscience into policy and, and the, that translation is harder I think than the original neuroscience. If we don't actually start to redesign our systems to be more trauma informed from cradle all the way to grave then we are going to continue to have generation after generation in New Mexico saddled with the challenges associated with trauma. I don't think we're that far off if we would all agree that every kid, every family has something to contribute and that we're going to work toward that goal. Join us for Public Square on the last Thursday of each month and visit our website by going to NewMexicoPBS.org and clicking on Local Productions. Here you'll find more information on this topic and on our guests. You can also give us feedback or suggest topics for future shows. And join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter by searching for Public Square NM. Thank you for watching.